Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to GCP bucket from Azure Data Factory and read a file that's sitting in the GCP bucket to the Azure Blob Storage. So we will perform all the steps. We will create the GCP bucket, upload the file, then we will create the Azure Data Factory pipeline and read the data from the GCP bucket and load it to the Azure Blob Storage. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here, uh, what I have, uh, first of all, uh, I am connected to cloudconsole.cloud.google.com and this is my project. Um, so I would like to create a GCP bucket and then uh, upload a file. So you can uh, just uh, search uh, GCP, uh, GCS uh, here in the search box and or cloud storage in the search box here and you will find the cloud storage. Once you are there, uh, you are gonna create uh, a bucket. Um, so. Uh, see right there there are buckets here and then create button is right there so go ahead and uh, click on create and uh, provide the name I'm going to call it uh, TBIT and uh, uh, let's call it uh, uh, bucket okay so that's it I'll leave everything as is or if you have uh, you want to do multi-region single region and all that you can go further in and uh, uh, choose the right options for you I'm going to leave everything uh, on as of now and uh, going to create this uh, TBIT bucket uh, that's fine public access will be prevented yes uh, fine and uh, confirm now TBIT bucket will be created uh, shortly our bucket is created right here and we have different options here we have uh, configuration permission protection and, uh, and all tons of other options available do you want to work with but we are not going to touch those we will be just simply creating uh, our folder and then uploading a file I'm gonna call this one input uh, uh, let's say GCP so that's where we are gonna upload our file so once the folder is created we will go ahead and upload a file um, so click on upload files here and then uh, it's going to open uh, this uh, uh, location from your computer and I'm going to upload uh, my customer file there. So this file has only three columns, first name, last name and some other information. So we can open or actually uh, from here. I don't know if we can see from here uh, right here if you want to open and take a look here so we have ID first name and last name that's all we have from here so this doesn't have all our data just uh, you know very few records so we can close this we don't need that we can go back here and now we are going to go to the Azure Data Factory here in the Azure Data Factory we are going to go to the pipeline create a new pipeline and in the new pipeline we'll use copy activity so copy activity and here I'm going to go to the source and click new and look for Google. So in the Google, we have a cloud story right there. I have another video how to read the data from Club BigQuery if you want to take a look on that one as well. So go and select uh, your storage and now uh, it can read multiple type of files. You can read Avro, Binary, CSV, Excel, JSON, ORC and all that uh, different formats available here. I'm going to go for CSV file because I know that my file is comma delimited file. Now I'm going to go right here and I'm going to create a new link service. Uh, this is go going to be called the Google Cloud Storage 2. I'm going to leave the uh, integration runtime auto resolve as is and here it is asking me a few questions it is asking me hey provide me access key ID and then secret access ID so it already have a service uh, uh, URL uh, populated with that story.googleapis.com so that leave as is now we need to um, uh, two parts of the information access key ID and secret uh, key access key so I'm gonna go back to bucket here and uh, then uh, once we are in bucket we are gonna go to the settings and in the settings uh, we will go to the interportability so once we are there and uh, you can see right there that's the same uh, kind of uh, URL we see right there and uh, here uh, we are going to uh, it asks you like hey you want to enable this uh, project here so I actually did click on that one and uh, that's why this uh, tech browser right is your default project for inter interportable access um, so it was uh, not uh, uh, enabled first but I just uh, did that uh, in the last uh, uh, kind of demo so if it give you that option here you just click on there and it will mark that as green and you will see your project ID there now here is uh, your uh, um, key and uh, you can uh, just copy and paste uh, or you know you can go ahead and uh, create a key 
and uh, it will create this new one as well so if you want to delete the old one you don't want to use the old one that's fine so you can always create new one here is uh, the access key I'm going to copy and come back here and uh, this is where I'm going to provide and uh, this is my secret so I'm going to copy the secret and provide it here now we can test our connection here and it should be fine and it is successful so we will create our link service called Google Cloud Storage 2. Our link service is created and now we are going to work on our data set and in the data set it is asking us say hey provide us the path of the folder and the file name so tbit bucket remember that and we have a file uh, folder called input to gcp once we are in the folder we have this uh, customer text file i'm going to hit uh, okay here and uh, now we will uh, hit okay so and uh, we can go ahead and preview the data it has id first name last name and all that you have seen this uh, file already so that's fine now we will go to the sync uh, and in sync uh, we are going to create a blob storage link service so select the azure blob storage continue okay we want to write as a csv file as well and uh, now create a new link service just to provide uh, your subscription here and uh, in the subscription then you're going to select your blob storage um, account so in my case if i will take you here this is my blob storage so i have created the storage account so if you don't know how to create it watch my videos there are multiple videos i have created how to create blob storage now we are right there that's fine we can go and call this one three and uh, hit uh, create and once uh, this is created uh, we will uh, provide where we would like to write the data in the blob storage if you see right there I have a container and uh, in the container if you go to the containers here right there you are gonna see a container called output in the output container I don't have much as of now but I would like to create a file so I'm gonna go here and uh, go to the container output here and uh, then uh, I will be selecting OK and here I will be providing uh, the name of the file. I'm going to call this one GSC, GCP or GCS uh, customer dot CSV file. OK, hit none on this one and uh, then hit OK. Now we can go ahead and uh, debug and it's going to read uh, our CSV file from GCS bucket uh, and write to the Azure blob storage. Let's refresh. The job is queued. And now we will wait for another second. It's in progress right now and it's succeeded. Let's take a look on the output here and it can tell us that hey, I have read 100 bytes from the Google storage and then I have written 100 bytes to the Azure blob storage. Okay, number of files read one and then you can see. In my case, I just read the data from a CSV file from GCS bucket and write to the CSV file. So you might want to write to the, your Azure SQL DB or uh, any other location you can do that in Azure Data Factory as well. My sync was very simple. So anyways, let's go back here in the folder and refresh and we should see a file here in our blob storage. It's called GCS customer. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go edit and uh, we should see that uh, all the file contents here which are copied from the GCS bucket uh, to our blob storage. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video.